Hi, my name's Sarah Winter. I'm a designer and a garden enthusiast. And today I'm going to talk you through how to make a bug hotel. So today we'll be using this pre-made timber shape, shaped like a house. Uh, but you can actually use whatever you've got lying around the house. You could use an old drawer. You can use plastic pots that you might have from all the gardening that you've been doing lately. Uh, anything that could has some walls on it and a back can be a bug hotel that we can fill with lots of materials for different types of insects to call home. And here's one that we've done earlier to show you the different types of materials that you can use. All of this has been collected from around home. Uh, bug hotels are like a sanctuary that you can have in your garden or Airbnb for beneficial bugs and insects. Today we're going to be making one that's really focused on bees um, and small beneficial bugs. Uh, so we're going to be using a lot of cane, bamboo and uh, timber with a variety of different hole sizes cut out. Uh, there really is no magic secret for how to make these. It's essentially just get creative and start stacking. You want to give a variety of little um, and large holes for the animals to um, live in. But besides that, um, allow sort of your aesthetics to be your guide and imagine, try to create little holes that the, um, the bugs might want to live in. So another thing to think of is to pop your heavier pieces down the bottom. This is going to be hanging up. Um, our goal is, you can use hot glue if you're having some trouble, but our goal is to try and avoid any kind of glue um, and just actually fill it up to the brim so it's stacked nice and tightly so it doesn't fall apart. This is also a really great activity to do at home as a family to get the kids involved in creating um, little bug, so bug hotels and to get them to sort of understand ecosystems. Um, even the ecosystem in the backyard, how bugs play a really important role in uh, creating a good, healthy, balanced ecosystem, in helping us to get the veggies that we eat and the flowers that we enjoy, um, and that they, we can look after them by creating little homes for them. Okay, now we have a completed bug hotel. As you can see, we've used some of our big rounds with the different holes in it to balance the shape there um, from a design perspective. And we've got some of that corrugate, uh, some of those palm fronds, a bunch of bamboo and cane. Uh, and yeah, it's come together in a little bug hotel. What you could do now, if it's going to go outside, is to coat it with a, a natural oil, um, just to make sure that this timber uh, weathers okay out in the elements. You could also paint it some bright colours. You might want to get uh, kids or friends involved to sort of put together some, maybe even some windows on the side to make it really look like a hotel. Um, and then the last thing to do is to pop it out in the garden and watch the different uh, beneficial bugs and insects move in and start to occupy the hotel and spread uh, their love through the garden, helping your veggies and flowers burst into bloom.